We're at the Field of Dreams where this, uh, this morning, actually, Sheboygan North is going to play Green Bay Southwest in a doubleheader. We'll be doing the first game today. Uh, my name is Mike Martin. Joining me for the broadcast is Hall of Famer Dave Gare. Uh, Dave, these teams come in struggling a little bit. They'll, they'll struggle a little more today with the fog and the rain. When uh, you were a player, uh, what do you do to try and handle the bad conditions? Well, you <clears throat> you prepare yourself before the game, and uh, when you're on the field, you always check the wind and check the field. And the ball's going to be wet today, so there might be some bad throws. So we'll see how it goes. North comes in with a uh, one and eight record. They have not played any non-conference games. They had the first game of the season canceled. That was against Slinger. And uh, in the six game losing streak, Dave, North has only scored 10 runs and they had two of those six losses were shutouts. Hard, hard to win if you don't score any runs. <laughs> Green Bay Southwest a little better. They're uh, six and eleven overall, two and nine, and they're on a three-game losing streak. Uh, they got a couple of players that look like they're pretty good. This Braxton Murphy is uh, hitting pretty good, and uh, he's a pitcher. Yeah, four oh eight it says, and uh, fourteen For batting RBIs. average. Looks like a good player. In our uh, lineup, Murphy is batting third and playing shortstop. The pitchers today is going to be Henry Klott for uh, Green Bay Southwest, and Tristan Hunt is going to be the North starter. Uh, let me see if I got some stats on Hunt. Hunt is gone five in innings only, Chris. Uh, I'm, they might I'm, be saving I'm, Brett for the second game. He's throwing 14. The starter for uh, Clot, the starting pitcher for uh, Green Bay Southwest, is uh, pitched a little bit more, but uh, we'll have to see. Being a doubleheader and these teams have played earlier, Clot has gone seven in, has got a 7.12 ERA. So uh, he's struggling. That could uh, serve North well. And uh, Clot, in terms of innings pitched, has gone 18 and two thirds. He's given up 18 hits. The bad part, Chris, uh, Dave, he's given up 23 walks. Wow. In 18 Good innings. And and welcome to the field of dreams. But so on the plus side, he's also struck out 26. It's pro probably a hard thrower, and sometimes he doesn't know where it's going. Yeah, we talked about uh, Braxton Murphy. They're uh, one of their better players. He's uh, pitched the most. 31 innings, but uh, again, struggles with his control with 25 walks. Bill Wagner uh, giving some opening remarks about good sportsmanship. And uh, I think they're going to play the national anthem, and then after that, we'll uh, be on our way. Good, good day for a ball game. Hey, isn't there uh, any day is a good day for a ball game? Any any day. <laughs> <laughs> it's a little bit chilly out here. John Stepp is sitting alongside. He'll be a spotter. <laughs> Going through the lineups. As long as they're doing that, let's give it to you guys. Jace Prosky will be leading off and playing left field, batting second and playing third base is Caleb Langenberg. Batting third, we talked about him a little bit in the opening, and playing shortstop is Braxton Murphy. Ethan Richardson is batting fourth and playing right. Batting fifth and catching is Jacob Richardson. Batting sixth, the pitcher, Henry Klott. Batting seventh, the first baseman, Colton Dudek. Batting eighth and playing second base is Nolan Kitchenmaster. And batting ninth, the DH, Nicholas Posh. And Posh is batting for Caleb Spruddles, 
who's uh, playing center. Let's go through north. Their leadoff hitter and playing shortstop is Luke Kaznasek, batting second, the third baseman, Andrew Lorgi, batting third, the center fielder, Brett Rabarczyk, batting fourth, and playing left field, Mark Williams, batting fifth, the pitcher, Tristan Hunt, batting sixth, and playing first base, Blake DePocter, Batting seventh, the right fielder, Eric Parman. Batting eighth, the catcher, Gavin Casey. And batting ninth, the second baseman, Zach Brown. Now we're going to play the national anthem. Play ball, Dave. Brian Clemo and Dennis Scott. These individuals are registered by the WIAA and assigned by the Fox River Classic Conference. <laughs> Sorry about that. Stole, stole my pencil. <laughs> Our umpires today behind home plate, Brian Clemo, and uh, on the bases, Dennis Scott. So These umpires did not look familiar to me, Dave. How about you? Well, I haven't played for a long time. I probably uh, have never had these two umpires. One of, one of them thought he was in Plymouth, so I'm not sure how it's going to go. <laughs> I, I remember him saying, yeah, I've never been to Plymouth before. <laughs> so we'll see. But... Uh, they're on the field, or they look like they're ready. And <laughs> Apparently, uh, maybe a week or so ago, they uh, these two fellas umpired a North game. So uh, the North High kids are going to be familiar. And uh, wrapping up his warm-up pitches is uh, Tristan Hunt. His catcher is Gavin Casey. Leading off the ball game for... Uh, the Southwest Trojans is uh, Jace Prosky. Prosky steps in, hitting uh, under the Mendoza line, Dave, hitting 196. First pitch is a ball, and we're off and running. Game time temperature, cold. Well, chilly. Skies are cloudy, and we start off the game with a hit batsman. Not a good way to start. Definitely not. <laughs> and uh, so much of the game of baseball revolves around your pitching, and uh, if you don't have that, it's like you said, if you don't score runs, you better have good pitching, and if you don't have that, then you're really hurting. Stealing second base into center field. Could be one of those kind of games, Chris, where if you can get on first base, it's going to be like a double. Don't 
Don't call me Chris. Okay, Dave. <laughs> That pitch is outside. Count is one and one. So on that steal attempt, it was a strike. Kuznasik trying to keep the runner close to uh, second base by deking him back. Dave, does the uh, second baseman ever, you know, try to keep the runner close? Well, it usually depends on the batter. If he's right-handed or left-handed, and they each have their assignment. <clears throat> Our second baseman is pretty close to first base. I don't know how he would be able to. Yeah, real hold him. And uh, the runner went over to third base. There was a balk called on that last pitch, Dave. So the count is two and one, not three and one. Well, hit the batter, let him steal the base, and then balk him to third. It's not an impressive start. <laughs> Ball back to the screen. <laughs> threw it over the top of the batter's head, and it happened to hit his bat. So that's good pitching. <laughs> Three and two. I don't think we have a swing yet today. You're right, we don't. There's a swing. Ball is hit up in the air on the infield. Making the catch for the out was uh, North second baseman Zach Brown. Shortstop number nine, Braxton Murphy. Now you and Ronnie Hare back in the day coached uh, South High baseball, right? Quite a few years ago. And how many years did you guys uh, team up on that assignment? I think we were coaching three years. Ronnie was a pro. He uh, was an excellent coach. Literally a pro. There's a pass ball. No advance by the runner. No break for North High there. So who took the uh, pitchers and who took the hitters and the infield and outfield? How did you divvy well, up? I, I definitely didn't have the pitching. <laughs> <laughs> and I, uh, Ronnie did the catching. And we shared the infield, outfield. Our bouncer, third coming home is the third baseman. He makes the tag. And the runner on third, Prosky, is out on a good play by the North High third baseman, uh, Andrew Lorgi. That was a good play. It was a surprise that he tried to come home. The ball was right to the third baseman. Was, you got to be pretty quick if you're going to try and score from third. Ethan Richardson, the right fielder, is up next. Running. He's running. Yeah, and Ethan is uh, one of the top hitters on the team. He's uh, right behind Murphy. Well, not right behind, but uh, he's second, hitting 319. Uh, so he's had a good season. Uh, does have 10 RBIs. Well, that's uh, not a very good throw <laughs> as he tried to pick off the runner. So we get an advancement, Braxton Murphy on uh, E1. Well, North is doing all the things that uh, help you lose. They have a, a balk and a hit batter and a, a air on the pitcher. And they still might get and, out of the inning and it's, <laughs> without and it's Southwest tie. scoring. And it's tie, so. Did you ever get a chance in your playing days, Dave, to play on artificial yeah. turf? I did when I was in college. Uh, we went down south, and a lot of those teams down south have AstroTurf or some type of turf. It's, it's a little different, quite yeah. quick coming off the bat. 
I had uh, one opportunity to uh, umpire on artificial turf, and the ball does scoot pretty good, but you don't get any bad hops either. Oh, boy. Stolen base. The throw goes out to left field. Strong throw home is not nearly in time. Murphy steals third and then comes home on the E2. And uh, Southwest is on the board. Without a hit. Without a hit. And you get a good shot of the batter, Ethan Richardson. Right, right up. Foul yeah. ball. Right. <coughs> now that it stopped rolling, one of your best things, Dave, is now you can pick it up. It's safe. <laughs> That's true. There's a Our, shot. Oh, right through the second baseman. It's an E4. What do you think, Dave? I think he uh, probably you should have had that. 23, Jacob Richardson. So that's the uh, third error on North, and we're still in the top of the first inning. Jacob Richardson, the catcher. Now, Jacob looks like he's got kind of a catcher's build. Or a linebacker. Yeah, or a linebacker. Left-handed batter. He's got a good number. Ooh, that's right. 23. Yes. You know, that number was so famous and liked so much that Chris Wright wore that when he <coughs> did all his coaching at North yeah, High. It's trouble. Oh, Drops in for a base hit. Strong throw to third, and they're going to get him. Nice good throw, throw by the center fielder, <laughs> Rabarczyk. And uh, that's the end of the inning. Give uh, Jacob Richardson a base hit. And uh, at the half, after a half inning of play, Southwest on top, one to nothing. People couldn't see my, people couldn't see my potential, so. We're back at South High School. We're back at Taylor Field, back at Lutheran High School. People couldn't see my potential, so I had to. I don't know why you're so sad. You've got a roof over your head. You gotta stop with that depression stuff. That's what white people think. You all right? It just feels like it's coming from everywhere. Do you want to talk about it? You can talk to me if you're feeling sad. Whenever you need to talk, I'm here, okay? Back at the Field of Dreams where Sheboygan North getting ready to uh, take their turn in the bottom of the first. They trail it one to nothing. Around the infield for uh, Southwest. Over at uh, first base, they have uh, Colton Dudek at second is Nolan Kitchenmaster. At third is Lang Caleb Langenberg. The shortstop is uh, Braxton Murphy. In the outfield from left to right, they have Prosky, Spruddles, and Ethan Richardson on the mound. Henry Klott and doing the catching, Jacob Richardson. Jacob with the only hit in the top of the first. Nice sportsmanship. We have the leadoff batter shaking hands with the catcher and the umpire. 
Luke Kaznasek is uh, the leadoff hitter for North. He's uh, at playing at shortstop today. He's hitting 300, has a 881 OPS. That means on base percentage. And uh, he scored seven runs. Five doubles, Dave. That's a pretty impressive number over nine games. Oh, he's a left-handed batter, and he looks quick. He's a, a slender guy, and looks like he can run. And he's a left-handed batter, which... Uh, he played a lot last year as a freshman. He's uh, only a sophomore this year, so uh, North has a good future with this kid. His dad is uh, Brian Kiznasek, teaches over at Longfellow. Brian and my son Patrick graduated the same year from North High. Way back, 1994. Oh, did they have baseball back then? Yes, they did. <laughs> they did. <laughs> We've got a three and one count. And uh, another strike on a questionable call, according to the Kuznacek. Yeah, he didn't like that one. He wanted to get on base. Ball and that's four. the ball. And uh, we talked about the control issues with the uh, Southwest pitchers, and you saw it right there. Andrew Lorgi's up next. Lorgi's uh, hitting a robust 409. On base plus slugging, .995. And actually, he's the kid with five doubles, not Kaznasek. Oh. You get that squared away. Well, Kaznasek is running. And There's that throw, throw out to center field. Center field. <laughs> you know, one thing I've often thought about, Dave, you, you see in the uh, major leagues, too, Everybody does the head first slide. And in a situation like that, if you're doing a feet first pop up slide, you could easily go to third. True, that's true. Orgy takes that pitch up. Two and all. Oh. Waiting on deck is our Favorite name of the morning, Brett Rabarczyk. Number one. Yeah. So, Dave, you know, we mentioned about number 23, Ethan Richardson. Uh, how did you get that number? I, I, you're mostly famous for that playing with the A's. Did you I request think, uh, it? Or? I believe it was... Uh, one of the smallest uniforms, so they gave it to me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's an interesting way to get a uniform. <laughs> hey, you made it famous. There's a little ground ball inside ball. the line. It's going to be a double, and Kaznasek easily comes home and scores. Good piece of hitting by Lorgi. Good jump by Kaznasek, and uh, he is a runner. He was quick around the bases. Center fielder, number one, Brett Rabarczyk. Well, Kaznasek was also a basketball player on the North team this year. I think he was on the JVs. Rabarczyk is next. We have no information on him statistic-wise. That ball one. Yeah, their pitcher, Klott, is having trouble finding the strike zone consistently. That ball on the inside corner. Well, he's around the plate. He's just not over the plate. Klott, the big kid. Uh-oh. Pick off at second base, a high throw. Center fielder is going to get a lot of action today Yeah, from the throws. Henry Klott is a uh, junior. 
We got one more year of baseball left. Lurgy getting a nice lead off a of second. That uh, strike call makes the count one ball and two strikes. Bouncing ball towards second. And our uh, poor job by Klott not getting over to cover the base. Give uh, Rabarczyk a base hit. Yeah, the first baseman came over to pick up the ball. And yeah. He had Dude. no one to toss it to, couldn't get the runner at first by himself. Dudek actually made a very nice play on that uh, hard hit ground ball. North is coached by uh, Steve Goes, assisted by Nate Tarkowski. Uh, Nate and uh, Lucas's dad, Brian, and my son, Patrick, they all went to high school together, graduated the same year, like I mentioned before. Nice to see uh, Nate was a good fielding first baseman when he had played for North. Nice, nice to see you all graduated, too. <laughs> <coughs> We were extremely happy about our son graduating, but there was never really a question about that. <laughs> well, we had a conference from both teams. Uh, South Coast coach wanted to fielder, nine, see what his infield was up to. We got our runners on first and third. Brock Larson is the manager, or the coach for uh, oh. head coach is Matt Rukamp. Runners out at home. I didn't see what happened. Well, we had a double steal there, and uh, the pitcher threw it to first, and the first baseman threw it to the catcher to get our sliding north high player. All right. Out now at we have the runner on second base. Okay. With one out. So it happens when you put your head down at an inopportune time. Matt Rukamp is the head coach, and he's assisted by Brock Larson and John Prosky. Mark Williams falls one off the screen. A little hard to see here with that f foggy sky and sitting behind the fence. That was, that was hit so hard, <laughs> we wouldn't have seen it <laughs> until after it hit us. We have a one on one count. We do, with one out. Breaking ball is in for a strike. Kind of fooled the batter. He kind of backed up a little bit, broke in for a strike. There goes the runner. Swing Throw to miss. third. Not in time, but uh, Williams is out on swing and miss pitcher, two, and that's going to bring up Hunt. the pitcher Tristan Hunt another left-handed hitter Mouse. Well, those usually are the best hitters in my opinion <laughs> you know I used to be a switch batter I know I don't that. like to call it a switch hitter because that implies you hit we fall back strike one North with a runner on third. It amazes me how many of these kids are playing with short sleeves. Yeah, today, especially. There's a wild All pitch. In and in there on the pass ball or wild pitches or a bar check. Call it a pass ball. But North grabs the lead, two to one. We have a lot of action without a lot of hitting. There's runners all over the place. They're stealing bases. I tell you, Clot does throw pretty hard. But you called it before the game, before you even saw him throw a warm up, Dave. It's probably fast but wild. 
Seems that way. We have a foul back, two and two, and two outs. Pitch hangs outside. Loads the count at three and two. He's got a lot of pitches for the first inning. Over to Murphy, he tosses it across for the 6-3 uh, putout. And after one complete inning of play, North 2, Green Bay Southwest 1. Sir. <laughs> Getting ready to start the uh, top of the second. It's just a this is a seven inning game. High schools play seven. And many of the uh, Sheboyganese adult class. baseball is seven innings too, Dave. Yeah, those nine inning games uh, take a lot of pitchers. First pitch rides up high by Hunt. Hunt, the little right-hander. Henry Klott, the pitcher for Southwest, is the leadoff hitter this inning. Plot hitting 205. Does have a couple of doubles, however. Swing and a miss, two and one. Uh oh, that's down, down the third line. baseline. Base hit, Clot. Does the right thing and holds up at first. It looked like first it might be an uh, extra base Colton hit at the beginning. But uh, the north left fielder did a good job of getting it in. That was uh, Mark Williams. Colton Dudek, first baseman, is up. We've had a lot of steals or steal attempts yeah, they've so been, far. Uh, scouting. No, the catchers. Yeah, neither of the catchers' throws have been close to the base yet. So let's see if this guy's going to run. Good pickup by uh, the North Eye catcher, Casey. Who is the best catcher you ever played with? Well, let me think. I've had a few. The ball out into center field, the base hit. But uh, getting it back in quickly was a rebar check. But uh, Southwest threatening. Runners on first and second, nobody out. And that brings up Nolan Kitchenmaster. Second baseman number 20, Nolan Kitchenmaster. In my early days of playing with the A's, we had a kid named Dick Rasmussen. 
It was built like a truck. He was a defensive end on our football team. He was uh, pretty hard to move. Left-handed batter, went to University of Rochester. Played baseball there. I think he played football there also. Yeah, he was uh, all-conference, I believe, his junior year. Tough, High tough bouncer lady. on the infield. Throw across is not in time. Infield hit for Kitchen Master. And uh, where Southwest struggled to get some hits in that first inning, the bottom part of the order, Dave, has gotten three straight singles. Three stri yeah, that was a hard one. That was a high chopper. The third baseman was too far away from third to get the runner coming into third, and he wasn't quick enough to get the guy at first. So now North's in trouble. Nicholas Posh, the DH. Ball one. Posh hits, he's hitting 250. Usually gets uh, his bat on the ball. Or ball up and in. Hunt in the jam. Two balls, bases loaded. Nice. Grounder pass third, full ball. Here's a strategy question, or philosophy maybe. Two and old count in a situation like that, do you want your batter swinging? Because you know the pitcher is supposed to come in with one, or do you want him to take a pitch? It depends on the batter. If he's hitting 250, that means uh, three times out of no or th out yeah. of ten, he's not going to hit it. But but is uh, the pitcher is forced to bring it over the plate. And ball four, and that forces in a run. The ninth hitter in the lineup draws a bases loaded walk. And uh, the game is now tied. That's another reason why you don't uh, have a guy swinging, because the pitcher's not getting it over the plate. Takes us to the uh, top of the order. Jace Prosky, he uh, reached on a hit by pitch his first at bat. He's Strike thrown one. out at the plate. Tristan Hunt with a good pitch. On that first delivery. Breaking ball. Hunt hustling in. He had Prosky fooled. Yeah, that was in the dirt. Nowhere close to the plate. The batter was a little anxious, I believe. Yeah, I would say. Bases loaded. I'm swinging. Yes. There's a line drive through, past the shortstop, bounces off Rabarchet's shoulder, and runners are going to advance. And uh, two runs score on the play, and runners end up at second and third. Looks like a merry-go-round here. Yeah, exactly, and that's not good because North is not hitting. So now we have runners on second and third. No outs. And the number two hitter is up. Caleb Langenberg, and he uh, popped to second his first time up. It's now uh, four to two. Southwest started the inning with three straight hits, loaded the bases, the next batter walked. Then we had a two-run single by Prosky. He ended up at second on the air by the center fielder. And we have three balls on the batter. Oh, boy. Uh, coming out is going to be Nate Tarkowski. Not looking good here for the Northsiders, but uh, it's only four to two. Trouble is, nobody out. There 
wondering where to pitch the tent for this circus. Be kind, Dave. Hey, we've all been there before. <laughs> yeah, they're struggling, throwing the ball, picking up the ball, pitching the ball. This takes us to a, a, a bigger question, Dave. Sheboygan, when we were kids, had the Little League program, you know, for like four or five years, right before high school was Stars of Tomorrow or maybe even freshman year. So moving in to a Legion team at that time because they didn't have a adult baseball, but you had both sides of town playing baseball and, you know, developing players. It's not like that anymore. Well, we used to play in the summer. We run to Cooper School and have a game in the morning. Then we'd come home, there's a wild pitch. And that was a runner, ball four. The runner on third is uh, about two feet off the base. Sure. Yeah. Stop but then we'd go home for lunch, and then we'd come back in the afternoon, and we have another baseball game, and that went on all summer, all during our youth. And you can develop could, a lot of skills that way. You can ride all around Sheboygan, and you never see as kids playing baseball on the diamonds. It seems like it, it's evolved from having uh, a wide-ranging program, uh, age-based. You know, what was it? Uh, Little League, Pony League, Colt League, Stars of Tomorrow. But now, the way it's evolved is you have a traveling team. <laughs> you know, and you're not developing a lot of players. The good players are all leaving town and playing all over and other good teams. That pitch is up high, evens the count at one and one. Two and one now. Two and one. Pitcher is really struggling. Once pitch was uh, a little too wide. Yeah, we had the Pee Wee League when you were eight or nine, and then you went to the, I think, the Pony League, 10 and 11, and you went to the Rookie League. Well, that's what, not, that's the one I was missing. And they had the Colt League and the Stars of Tomorrow. And then if the next progression would have been like it is now, you'd be playing high school baseball. You know, that's the other thing that, uh, Sheboygan's Legion team struggled with. We started playing Legion ball in the summertime. Well, all the teams we played with had a full season of baseball in already in the, in the spring. And so they had 20 games in. We were playing our first game. Pitches inside. And uh, that forces another run in on the walk. Now it's five to two. We have no outs and a pitching change. Steve's goes has seen enough. I'm just looking. Let's see. Looks like uh, Tristan Hunt went in the dugout. I think he's coming back out. He's going to remain in the game. He just won't be the pitcher. And it looks like uh, Luke Kiznasik is moving from shortstop to pitcher. And it's only the second inning. My mother used to save all my clippings when I was a, a little leaguer. And I have a whole box full of clippings at home. And every once in a while, I'll dig out the box and I'll go through the clippings. And I have no for the, the teams we played against. And the Sheboygan Press used to do a lot of covering of Little League Baseball. <laughs> I had, remember that. They had uh, who won or who lost, who was the winning pitcher, who had the big hit. And, uh, and I, it's amazing how a lot of those kids that I played against 
from the other side of town or from our side of town are good friends of mine now. <laughs> you know, all those South High kids that when you get to high school, I don't like those South High people, and, and now they're, they're good friends of mine. I agree with you there, because I can remember playing high school sports, and uh, although you wanted to beat them, you're a crosstown rival. But well, our day, Mark Simon was a really good pitcher on the south side. He pitched for the Milwaukee Journal team. Okay, we have a batter up there now. First pitch high. Ethan Richardson. Ethan Richardson. He was the kid, Dave, that hit the ball hard to the second baseman and it got through or it should have been caught. Big kid. Yeah, Richardson is uh, plays out in right field. We have two balls. We have no stats on Lucas Kiznasik, so we can't tell you much about his uh, pitching. There he kind of shakes his head, nods his head. He says, I should have swung at that one, but the base is loaded. Kiznasik waiting and waiting, and now he delivers, and that pitch is in there for a strike. Evens the count at two and two. I was on the outside edge of the plate, so a little harder to hit. A two and one, two and oh count was the one to go after. Breaking ball is outside. I don't know if you're watching the umpire on that, Chris, but uh, he stuck out his right hand to signal, Dave, to signal, <laughs> keep this handy. Uh, to signal it was a ball outside and uh, it can confuse the uh, viewers. Oh. What? Well, didn't confuse us there. Another walk and a run in. Six to two, bases loaded, nobody out. The meat of the order coming up here. Jacob Richardson, the catcher. Ooh, he had a mighty cut at that one. Good pitch. He's wondering how he missed that one. I used to do that a lot. That uh, pitch out of the strike zone evens the count at one and one. Dave mentioned the score is six to two, Green Bay, Southwest. Another mighty cut. Yeah, and that was a good pitch down in the strike zone on the knees. You could use another good pitch here. Evens accounted two and two. Be nice if you get a one hopper back to Kaznasik and get a one, two, three double play. There's still nobody out in the inning. At senior softball, Dave, in Arizona, when we get a big inning, it all stops. You can only score five runs, and then you switch. I, I and think. a call, strike three. Pitch a little bit up in the strike zone, but uh, good enough for the umpire. Pitcher number three, Henry Klott. North is in hoping they in, uh, incorporate that rule for five <laughs> runs this inning, I think. We'd be switched already. <laughs> they have five runs in so far. Infield at medium depth. Third baseman is about even with the bag. Short and second look like they're back looking for the double play. Pop up on the infield. That's right behind us. Right next to John good, Steffen. Good play, John. Come on. 
It's hard to catch a foul ball when you're line ducking. Drives now, line drives. <laughs> you know what makes it even harder when you can't see it? I thought it was going to be in front of us on the uh, warning track, but uh, it sailed over the fence. A way of one and one. Looked like it was supposed to be a breaking pitch, but it hung up high. Makes the count two and one. Yeah, he's struggling. He's uh, he's up. He's down. He's in. He's out. Another pitch out of the strike zone. Three and one. Not a good sign. He's looking to the dugout, our pitcher. Just Ooh, off the of, end of the bat. It's got a lot of spin on it. Henry Clot up there trying to help his own cause. He started off the inning, Dave, with a base hit. So this is the tenth batter of the inning? Yes, it is. Oh, wow. But we do have an out. It's time to put on the gloves. Oh, and not your baseball gloves. To keep glove. you warm. Ball's way up out of the strike zone. Another walk and another run for the Trojans. First baseman number eight, Colton Dudek. So Klott is on first, Richardson, Ethan on uh, second, Braxton Murphy is on third, and batting is Colton Dudek. Dudek singled and scored. He was the second batter in the inning. He's only hitting 167, yeah, well, we according throw to the stat sheet. Short, should show the, throw strikes to this guy. Courtesy, right? I think he's trying, but uh, he isn't working out so far. We have a courtesy runner over at uh, first base, uh, Rexford LeClaire. There's a base hit to right field. One's coming in, two's coming in. Right fielder has the ball, throws it into second base, and it's two more runs. Murphy and Richardson, Ethan scoring. Pulling up at second was uh, the courtesy runner, LeClaire, and Dudek is on first with a two-run single. If one team has a 10-run uh, lead, Dave, after five, they call it. Well, St Steve doesn't know. Uh, Steve Goes is going to have a decision to make uh, to just cash that one, this one in and save some pitching for the second game. It's tough when you have to make those kind of decisions. Because this one's not looking good. Nine to two. Yeah, he's uh, good. Bouncing him in there. And, yeah, good yeah. pick by Casey. Nate Tarkowski coming back out again to talk to his pitcher. About the only positive, if he walks this batter, the bases are loaded. He doesn't walk in a run. You get a good shot of the meeting at the mound. Number four is uh, the catcher, Casey. Kaznasik is uh, in front of Nate, number 24. I was mentioning before about good players in Sheboygan and a little league. Mark Simon played on the south side. Uh, he pitched for Milwaukee Journal. His dad was the coach. And, they were like the top team on the south side every year. They were really good. But our team, which one year was the Sheboygan Press, 
We played them in the finals in the city two years in a row. Where did you guys play that game? Legion Park. Okay. Yeah, Legion yeah. Park. We had a we had a nice team. We had Pete Van Handel pitching, and Pete was a uh, he's a good tennis player. Very good. His dad was also a good tennis player. He worked with the Olympic team in Colorado, and unfortunately was uh, killed in an airplane crash. Well, I don't remember that. And I remember Pete because in those days everybody wore blue jeans. <laughs> and one day Pete came to to Cooper in the in the summer, and he had shorts on. Everybody was kind of teasing Pete about what he was wearing shorts for, and a couple of weeks later, everybody had shorts on. <laughs> he was a trendsetter. He was. Nice guy, very nice guy. Hey, you know what we uh, stopped talking about that we were talking earlier about good catchers that you've played for, and you mentioned Razzy. There's got to be a couple others. I can think of one. Who is your choice? Uh, boy, I think... Uh, Dick Larson was really good. He's a bit of a character, but... Uh, Here's ball four. We have the bases loaded. Again. Once again. Doug Gunnering was probably the best catcher I ever caught with. Ah, uh, Gunnering. Coach at uh, Kewaskum. Yep. Right? I umpired a number of his games back he, in the day. He liked to throw to the bases. And I played second base, and we always had signals if you wanted to chuck one down to second. And then I had to acknowledge it with a tip of the hat. And it was a pop up down the third, first base side in foul territory. Catch is made. He's and here taking, comes. and he's changed his mind. There's a throw into uh, left field. Wow. Well, we get an out. Good play by the uh, first baseman. That was a really Left fielder, number 15, poor choice of making Rossi. that throw to third because the kid was sliding in. Yeah. Blake DePoctor made the nice play, but not the great throw. Two outs. See if you can put out the fire right here. This is a long inning. Yeah, Jace. We should have ordered breakfast. <laughs> Jace Prosky batting again. He's the leadoff hitter. He's uh, one for one. Was hit and then got a single. Not you, not you. One and one is the count. There's a good shot of Luke. Comes set at the belt. Breaking ball stays up. We're trying to think of the guy that played with uh, the A's that got, would always get hit by a pitch. He was a really good catcher. Hey, let me think. Uh, <laughs> he, had, he had a college record for being hit by a pitch. He played at UWM. I think he's got, well, I know he has the A's record. He's probably got two to three and a half, two, two to three more times he's being hit than the second place guy. Swinging a fallback. Yeah, he's a great guy, too. I, that's, I gotta think of his name. Schwartz, Clay Schwartz. Clay Schwartz, but, right. Uh, he's he's an A's Hall of Famer, he's too. A super guy. How about at lacrosse? Who is your catcher? Uh, Jerry Henley. Okay, that name doesn't sound familiar to me. He was from one of those famous towns out there. Cashton? Westby. Westby. <laughs> Uh, a little bit of trouble brewing here. Three and two, two outs. You don't want to give many more runs. Hey, here we go, Jay! Come on, Jay. Come on, let's go! Get go! We need this one, we need it. It's not sick. Runners are running, oh. swing and miss at a bad pitch. Yeah, that was a terrible pitch. But that's the end of the top half of the second. Southwest uh, tacks on eight runs, and uh, North has the work cut out for them.
Six walks in that inning. Flat warming up. Uh, we're getting ready to start the bottom of the second. Uh, Steve Goes had his team uh, right near the dugout, was talking to him prior to uh, starting this bottom half. And Blake DePoctor. First baseman number 12, Blake DePoctor. There were some DePocters that were uh, very good athletes at North High. I wonder if uh, wonder who his dad is. Greg DePocter. You might remember him, Dave. He played. He's when still you played. playing in Arizona. He was the girls' basketball coach at Oosburg. Uh That's oh, that's Tom Tom DePocter. But they're all relatives. And they're all pretty athletic. Right? Yeah, exactly. No, I, I shouldn't say pretty. They're all athletic, period. It's a, a line shot. drive caught by Murphy over at shortstop. Good wood on the ball. Yeah. Or whatever those bats are made of now. Number 13. It wasn't kryptonite. Didn't okay. get it far enough. It's a little easier for a clot to pitch now. He's got a seven run lead. Just throw it in there. Eric Parman is up next for uh, North. Parman hitting an even 100. There's a strike, one and one. Eric the, playing out in right field. Let the outfielders and infielders have some fun too, so let them hit the ball. And, they're probably getting chilly out there. <laughs> Not as chilly as us sitting here. Seems to be clearing up a little. When I left the house, uh, my phone said it was 55 degrees and it didn't feel very windy, but boy, when I got out here, it was uh, quite a bit different. <laughs> Trevor Tegel and uh, Bill Wagner are in the uh, press box kind of thing, staying warm in their little cubby hole. You and I yeah, doing the important that, work. Yeah, sure. <laughs> no elements. That, that was like the best pitch this kid threw all day. There's another, oh, another breaking ball, but uh, hangs outside. He seems to have a little more confidence. He said, I got a nine. It's two lead. I'm, I'm just going to throw it in there. Yeah, that makes and a difference. Then he walks a guy. <laughs> Gavin Casey, the catcher, is up for North. And he tries to pick him off with a seven run lead. <laughs> Ball is popped up out of play. I think Mike Martin used to try and pick off a lot of guys, too. Well, I had that, you know, as a left-hander, I had this natural picking off guys. Trouble is, you're never out. I think I talked to you one year, and I said, how many times have you thrown it to first? And how many guys have you picked off? That was part of the problem, Dave. <laughs> I don't remember that conversation. It happened. Oh, it's a wild pitch. Yeah, gets by the catcher. And that allows Parman to advance the base. Neither one of these catchers seem real aggressive. They don't jump out and get the ball. They don't block the balls. They do everything with their glove. And that was a catchable ball. Oh, for sure. Yeah, I agree with you there. 
That makes a difference for the pitcher too, having a good, you know, confident catcher, one you could depend on. See, there was a ball low and away. He didn't go to block it. He just backhanded the ball. And he needs a few drills. And another walk. We mentioned earlier, prior to the start of the Second game, that Klott had uh, control well. issues. Struck out a lot of batters, but uh, also walked quite a few. We're seeing it right here. Zach Brown, the second baseman, is uh, stepping in to hit. Catcher's going out to talk to the pitcher. He's saying, uh, what are you doing? Throw strikes. Famous last words. It's hard on the infield and the outfield if they're just standing there pitch after pitch yeah. after pitch after I hear pitch. You. It's hard for them to keep on their toes. Pitch outside for ball one. North is down nine to two. They have runners on at first and second with one out. We're in the bottom of the second inning. It's been a slow mover for sure. It's a good thing we're only playing seven. Well, let's hope we can play seven. Yeah, good point. It's a double header today. Uh, WSCS TV is only covering game one. Hey, I heard you're out in uh, Elkhart Lake last night oh, visiting we with uh, Dale and Diane, you Quick and Tom. Quick we are golf course had a little fish. And they got good fish out there. And refreshments. Now, did Dale build a new house or oh, just yeah. buy one? Very nice. nice. Dale Aarons uh, graduated from South High in 1969. He played with the uh, Sheboygan A's. He was a big power hitter. Hit a lot of home runs. <laughs> Well, he hit a bunch of triple at Legion Park. Yeah, easier diamond, to hit a triple than a home run. The left center and the right center were like two, three ninety, and he hit a lot of them in that gap, which didn't turn out to be a home run. Ball, ball. Brown hanging in there. It's uh, three and two. Dale also a uh, Sheboygan A's Hall of Famer. He could run a little bit too. Oh, swinging at a high pitch was Brown and he goes down on strikes. Two outs. Luke Kuznacek up. Pitcher number 24. Luke Talking to the umpire again. Call a strike. Yeah. Don't be too rough on me here. Klott delivers, and the pitch is uh, inside, and it hit Kuznacek. It's the first hit of the inning. Yeah, the wrong right time. off his shoulder. Third baseman number 21, Andrew Lorgi. Lorgi's up. Uh, we mentioned earlier, uh, Lorgi has a good batting average, hitting over 300. He's hitting 409, at least coming in. He's uh, got a double his first trip, so he's uh, way up there, batting average wise. <laughs> Gets up there swinging, strike one. That uh, double was his sixth of the season. Clot going out of the windup. Pitches outside. North has Parman on third, Casey at second, and Kuznacek on at first. There are two outs. Now that second baseman is about 60 feet from second base. Yeah, he's way over. Is he the third hitter in the, in the lineup? The third hitter no, in the batter. No, uh, yeah, Lorgi is second hitter. There's a bouncer. Klotz throw is nice in play. time. Very nice play. And that ends the North High half of the second. After two complete, 
Nine to two, Green Bay Southwest. What I should have done was filled out one of these so I don't always have to keep flipping my book to see who's at the positions. Maybe by the seventh inning I'll know. Step in and uh, begin the third inning is uh, Caleb Langenberg. Defensively for uh, Sheboygan, they have Blake DePachter at first, Zach Brown at second, Andrew Lorgi at third, and uh, playing shortstop, I believe, is Hunt. There was some switching going on. We know Kuznasik uh, started at short, but now he's pitching. Ball one, he doesn't like the ball, might be a little slippery. Yeah, that's another thing uh, in this kind of weather. Worry about getting a dry ball. But what I was saying in the last inning, your number two hitter is up. Your number two hitter should be a pretty good hitter. That second baseman was so close, closer to first and closer. Number two hitter should be a pull hitter. His uh, his double, I thought, was uh, right past the first baseman down the line. Oh, was it? Yeah. And I was thinking maybe that's why he was shifted over. One, two pitches in the dirt. Evens the count at two and two. A big... Top of the second, a seven run inning, pardon me, an eight run inning is uh, what's uh, propelled Southwest to the lead. North could use a quick one, two, three inning here. I made a notation in my book in that in that uh, second inning when they scored eight runs, they had five runs, five hits, I mean, and six walks. That was the killer. A nice pitch. Strike three. Shortstop number nine. So we got one out. Braxton Murphy. Good Langenberg start. out on strikes. That brings up Braxton Murphy. Murphy playing at uh, short today. He's one of their top players. That's third. He's uh, 0 for 1, but he walked with the bases loaded, so he does have an RBI. Came into the game, uh, Dave, leading the Trojans in RBIs. He had 14. Now he's got 15. I'm looking at these Southwest helmets. And they got all kinds of blue stickers on them, and I'm wondering. I'm going to check out between innings and what those are for. Yeah, good might point. For, I didn't notice that. Might be for hits or runs and foul ball. Our uh, next broadcast is going to be Tuesday, May 7th. We're going to see the same Green Bay Southwest squad, but they will be playing Sheboygan South, and it'll be here at the Field of Dreams. So we look forward to bringing you that game. Three and one outside. Changing balls again. I remember John told me he used to coach football at Lakeland College. Yeah, everybody remembers John. And he always said, 
The fly, ball fly ball. Shortstop. Good play made out there by uh, North High shortstop. Yeah, Makes a catch. Two quick outs here. That's what North needs. Two in a row. That's uh, a record for this game. Richardson. But John Tomey used to say, I like it when those other teams came and had all their stickers on the helmet. We knew who to concentrate on. <laughs> there you go. I don't think they had the internet back then. <laughs> John, he was something else. You know. He'd have a big game and he, he said he left his team in the locker room and they were supposed to come out and the, the referees penalized them for coming late and he, they just sat in the, in the locker room and let the other team wonder where we were. It was worth a five-yard penalty to make the other team ahead. Oh, we can have a one, two, three inning. And we do. Ooh. Nice Very play close, by the shortstop. But uh, nice play by the shortstop to get the uh, out. And it's a one, two, three inning. Getting ready to step into the box is Brett Rabarczyk. Brett singled and scored in the first. The North uh, missed a golden opportunity in the bottom of the second. They had the bases loaded, couldn't come up with a run. But uh, Kuznasik did a great job in the top of the third getting a one, two, three inning. Now it's up to North to battle back. Dave Gare is uh, checking with uh, Green Bay Southwest to see what all the stickers on their batting helmets was about. Three and O's account to uh, Rabarczyk. Klotz still having trouble finding the strike zone consistently. There's a line drive out into left field, turn the left fielder around. He's gonna have to chase it all the way to the fence. And Rabar checks in with a stand-up double to lead off the third inning. I mentioned in the last half inning that our next game is going to be uh, Tuesday, May 7th, when Southwest is at South. Then we have one more game in our spring schedule. It's going to be a girls softball game on May 9th. That's a Thursday. And it's going to be North at South, girls softball, May 9th. So we have two games next week on Tuesday and Thursday. Mark Williams up. What did you find out, Dave? It's colder outside. But the food trucks are here. So. <laughs> I didn't see you come back with any food. Be nice if North could chip away at this lead here. Yeah, I was just mentioning that. You'd have heard that if you were here. <laughs> so, what about the helmets? Come on. Oh, I'll check that next inning. 
coaches right here. Yeah. He's working. Of course, that never stopped us, right? Nope. Yeah. So we got two strikes, one ball. Ooh, he, he reared back and threw a heater. Yeah, and it didn't look like it was a good pitch, though. It looked like it might have been out of the strike zone. What Short do you think? Stop number two, Tristan. It's foggy. Take your sunglasses off. That's part of the problem. Tristan Hunt, the catcher, is up. By the way, we were questioning how the substitution went when uh, Kuznasik came in to pitch. The ball hit out to left field down the line, but foul. It was a simple switch. Shortstop went to pitcher, and pitcher went to shortstop. Well, those we can figure out. I, I think the batter, or excuse me, the runner at second was going to steal that time. Yeah, I, I saw him But he go fell down. down. I don't know why you would, or he's just stealing, and he hits the batter. Yep, another hit by pitch. Usually you don't steal when you're down seven runs, but... It's not Maybe. your it's not your baseball game anymore the way it's played. Thank you. Not a problem, Dave. Blake DePoctor up. Blake takes that first pitch for a ball. He popped a short his first time up. Again, north threatening. You know, Steve Goes, he's a very good coach. He maybe uh, is trying to take advantage of the catcher who hasn't uh, thrown a good ball to the bases yet. Uh, very there well. he goes. Uh oh, now he can. <laughs> Threw the ball away out, out down the left field line. <clears throat> and uh, Rabarczyk comes in and scores. Give him a stolen base, and then he <coughs> scores on the E1. And moving from first base all the way to third was Tristan Hunt. So Steve North knows what a great he's opportunity. doing. <laughs> yeah. I, did you see the pitcher step off the rubber in there? I thought that might have been a balk. I don't think no. so, but... Uh, Good point. We'll check not the positive. tape later. Yeah, <laughs> have to watch the replay. But that throw to third was way offline. Yeah, it's amazing. <clears throat> I mean, a bad throw is one thing, but uh, a terrible throw, and pretty consistently too. <laughs> We've had a bunch of them. We're not just picking on Claude because there have been other players, both sides. One well, ball, two strike pitch coming up. And a swing and a miss. The Pachter is uh, out. Kind of a delayed call there. Right fielder number 13, Eric Parman. You could see Klotz's eyes. They were looking over the left field fence when he swung at the pitch. That's not a good, <laughs> good way to bat. Oh, we got two outs. North could use it another run here. Yeah, definitely. Eric Parman is up. Eric uh, is a right fielder. He walked back in the second, but uh, stranded on third. He looked tense, the batter. <coughs> you ought to relax when you're up there. And if you ever watch the batter's hands, they are continually loosening the grip and stuff. This kid, he is squeezing the, they used to say squeeze the sawdust out of the bat. Yeah, right. We're making the bat into sawdust. <coughs> 
Now it have to be uh, metal shavings. <laughs> <laughs> right. That yeah, was a rep ball hard. Right down the right field line. Good job by the right fielder to get it in. He was able to cut it off before it got to the fence. Ethan Richardson out there making that fine play, but uh, good piece of hitting by Parman. Catcher number 14, Gavin Kiss. However, he was squeezing the bat. I would have him do that again. <laughs> <clears throat> there goes your theory, Dave. <laughs> Gavin Casey up next. Now the, the, this kid, he, he's got an overlapping grip on the bow, on the bat. Almost like a golf, golf like this. course grip. When I was playing, that was big. You know, put your middle fingers together, picked off another runner. Uh, he tried to steal. And uh, that time, definitely, Claude <coughs> stepped back and threw over to third for the easy out. That's second. Second base. <laughs> but uh, that ends the inning for North. They do get a couple of runs, however. And uh, after four complete, after three complete, it's uh, nine to four, Southwest. No. It's 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 being taped. Off with Southwest, the catcher number 23, Jacob Richardson. That was okay. Here we are in the fourth inning. Jacob oh. Richardson up, uh, Dave. He's one for two. There's a ball hit solidly out to uh, left right field. And out of here. Wow. That's the first home run of the season for Green Bay Southwest. And they're happy. I would be too. And you know the best part about that, Dave? He's a left-handed hitter. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's excited. But you know what happens when you never hit a home run and you hit a home run? For the next four or five games, you're going to hit about 100. Because <laughs> you're going to try to hit home runs all the time. So I, I checked with the coach about the stickers on the helmet. Okay. And they're for all positive things for the team. Stolen bases, RBIs. I'm sure a home run is going to get a bigger sticker. Yeah, right. Henry Klott, the pitcher for uh, Southwest, is up, and uh, he rips that one high in the air. Hunt retreating and uh, makes a nice catch. One out, 
in the fourth and the run in First for uh, Southwest. Blue they now lead back. 10 to four. It seems to be getting darker again. It was yeah. brightening up and now it's... Right. It's bright to the south, but it's darker to the north. My wife is watching the game on TV. She so she could hear it and can still hear it. So maybe they can find it on YouTube Live. I'm not sure. Talking to uh, John Steffes, several of the uh, Southwest parents were wondering about being able to watch the game. Colton Dudek is up. Colton is two for two with a couple of RBIs. Having a good game. Well, no, he's so two there. for three because he just struck out on three pitches. That wasn't a very good pitch. No, that was uh, definitely in the dirt. Second baseman number 20, Nolan Kitchenmaster. Kitchenmaster up. He's uh, one for one with a walk, and he scored a run. Well, after giving up that home run, uh, Kuznasek has bounced back to get the next two batters. Greg Zablocki giving you that shot. Uh, Richard Bartson giving you that pitch. Robert Ingram in the truck is our director. And uh, our troubleshooter for today is uh, Ron Miller. Nice to see Ron. We haven't seen him in a while. He doesn't do a whole lot of sports, but uh, he's an experienced cameraman, knows exactly what he's doing. The bouncing ball to Lorgi at third. Strong throw across is in time for uh, out number three. And uh, after three and a half innings, Green Bay Southwest 10, North 4. Here's the one to tell you. Did you get that PGA thing I sent you? Yeah, I actually know what. I got that day before. I got the same email, so I wonder if I just signed him up. Gavin Casey steps in for North. Casey Turks that first pitch for a ball. Casey has uh, walked his first time. This is only his second at bat of the ball game. I probably shouldn't say this, Dave, but uh, I had mentioned earlier it was a slow moving ball game. It's so, uh, picked up the last uh, inning and a half. Yes. Both pitchers settle down a little bit and get a little action. They're hitting the ball. Both teams hit the ball hard. The uh, Southwest catcher hit a home run. Jacob Richardson, long drive to uh, right center field. Casey Work the count to three and two. Yeah, we're not keeping a pitch count, but I'm. Got because has thrown a lot of pitches here. Right now, when you coached, and so I know when I coach high school baseball, we didn't do. We weren't quite as sophisticated as they are now. We didn't do pitch counts. Well, Ronnie Hare did everything. He was. <laughs> he. 
he had drills that I've never seen before. He would, he would put a couple sticks up and put strings um, across the by the plate, and the pitchers had to throw it between the strings, or hit hitting the strings would be in a pick would mean a pitch on the corner, mm -hmm. right? And, Who were your top players back those couple of years that you guys worked well, with? Well, we South? had Kenny Nazy and yeah, he's a dandy. Jeff Risto, I don't know if Jeff was a top player, but uh, he's a good friend of mine, so I better say it. <laughs> <laughs> Dave Moyer was a pitcher, and Tim Spiro, a Hall of Famer for the A's. No, he was a catcher back then, though, wasn't he? Yeah, Ronnie, <clears throat> he was awfully good catcher. Strong arm. We should have had him being a pitcher, but. You want to be strong up the middle, so we. Henry Klott makes the uh, catch just in foul territory to get uh, the hitter, Zach Brown. And uh, that's going to bring up Luke Kuznacek, now pitching and the leadoff hitter. Good hustle by uh, Klott on that one. Yeah, that was about 20 feet from the plate. I didn't know where the catcher was. I think early on he said, Clot, you got it. Oh, did he? That's a good idea. <laughs> Your glove catches as as pop long as, he as long as he caught it. Exactly. <laughs> there we are. He's trying to pick off the runner, and they're ahead by six runs. I, I never liked that. Henry's trying to make up for that time he didn't cover first base. Oh, maybe. Another pickoff attempt, not in time. When I was playing, we always had the bench players trying to pick up the signs. Uh -huh. There's a mighty swing and a miss. Good throw down Ooh. that time. But uh, the runner is safe. No complaints on that throw, Dave. No, that was a good one. Runner had a good jump and he almost had him, but now we have a runner on second with one out. North Nasik a run. Yeah, Kuznasik with a 1-1 one, one count, trying to uh, drive in the run. Luke is uh, 0 for 0. He walked and was hit by a pitch. Did score a run back in the first inning after his uh, walk. You know, just when I thought the uh, sun might be popping out. Fooled you. It fooled us. I fooled us, Dave. Come on. <laughs> Don't blame it all on me. And it's gotten windier. <laughs> Pitch down and in. Makes it three and one. North down six. Ten to four. We're in the fourth inning of a seven inning of a seven inning game. That ball right down the middle. Saw a clip a couple days ago, Dave. It was the first pitch of a major league game. Guy threw it right down the middle. Ball one. <laughs> Boy, they're, they're really worried about that runner. The shortstop's holding him on, and the pitcher keeps looking back. and. And he walks another batter. The tying run doesn't even have his shoes on yet. That's five walks for uh, Henry Klatt. He is against one, two, three, four strikeouts. How many walks does the North High pitchers have? The North High pitchers. Let's see. Six. It's six in one inning. Yeah, six in one inning. They haven't uh, walked a batter and other than that uh, big second inning when they scored eight runs.
Largy up. Andrew is uh, one for two. Wait, this catcher just doesn't block any pitches. We got Kuznasik on first, KC at second, and only one out. Great opportunity for North to uh, chip in to the uh, Southwest lead. Oh, pitcher's struggling. Yeah. He's been uh, hot and cold all game, mostly uh, on the chilly side with his control anyway. There's got a strike. Yeah, mighty swing by uh, Lorgi. You mentioned Lorgi came <clears throat> into the game with uh, five doubles. He uh, doubled back in the first innings, leads the team with six on the season. Another pitch out of the strike zone makes the count three and one. This is a bad part of the order to load the bases too. <laughs> Top two, three, four. Three and one. Another swing and a miss. Well, Clot blew it right by him there. That fastball was uh, pretty quick. 3-2 pitch. You gonna have the runners going, Chris? Uh, Tom, Dave? Chris, <laughs> Tom. Oh, there's a ball hit hard past the second baseman out in the right field. The runner on second, Casey, will come around and score the run. Kuznasek will hold at second, and Lorgi's on with another base hit. Nice piece of hitting. And another RBI for uh, Andrew. Brett Rabarczyk, two for two in the game. Can he keep it going? You know, no, there. It was covered up. That was the problem. Oh, I see. <laughs> Dave wrote on a sheet of paper his name. He said, call me this. <laughs> Is Mouse okay? Uh, I, I, I met Chris already. I, have no, I know who that is. There's a Another ball shot. hit hard. That's going to be over the center left fielder's head. That ball is oh, out of here. A three-run homer for Brett Rabarczyk. Wow. We got ourselves the ball game. It didn't sound like a homer. Uh, I would agree. <laughs> it didn't. Five, six, seven, eight, with, ten with to this, eight. With this weather, it, it, it does, the ball doesn't seem to be carrying, but those last two home runs, they... They were carrying right out of there. Southwest is going to make a change. Coming in the pitch is going to be the first baseman, Colton Dudek. You know that inning, the catcher kept looking over to the dugout of the Green Bay's team. And it was kind of like he was saying, our pitchers had it. I would bring somebody else in. I thought, I don't know how, how you felt, I thought he still had good velocity. He did. I'm trying to figure out their uh, defensive changes. Henry Klott is going to remain in the ball game. We'll have to see if he goes over to first base. The first baseman, Dudek, is now the pitcher. Let's see if we have some uh, stats on uh, that kid. Well, this uh, has turned into a ball game. Yeah, that's a good thing. Dudek has pitched uh, 10 and two-thirds innings. He's given up 16 hits, Dave. 
12 earned runs, 18 overall. He's walked 11 in his 10 innings and struck out 9. Uh, as I look through the stats, and I mentioned this earlier in the ball game, control has been an issue with the uh, Southwest pitching staff. Well, let's see if North can take advantage of that. Now pitching for Southwest, number eight, Colton Dudek. Up for, for uh, Sheboygan is Mark Williams. Mark 0 for 2 Williams. in the ball well, game. Well, he, he's, he's ready to hit, and the umpire is standing on the edge of the grass over here. Okay, here we go. He's anxious. He wants to get in there and hit, and we like that. First pitch by Dudek is uh, out of the strike zone. North has scored four so far in the bottom of the fourth. Done a nice job of battling back, Dave. Really nice, yes. This pitcher doesn't have the velocity of the other pitcher, so. Ball is hit hard. Out to right. And the right fielder yeah, can't make the play. It looked like it tipped off his glove. And uh, racing around second and heading into third is Williams with a triple. That was a whack. Nice hit. Shortstop number two, Tristan Hunt. Another position changes. Number nine, Braxton Murphy is now at second base. Number three, Henry Clyde at shortstop. So our new pitcher hasn't uh, put out the fire yet. He's adding some gas to uh, to North High's hopes here. Yeah. Another Bill hit. Wagner was just going over some position changes, and it wasn't a simple change. Deep to right. Here Catches comes made. The number ninth run. And Williams comes in and scores on the sacrifice fly. Well, good piece of hitting by Tristan Hunt. Ten to nine. Number twelve, Blake DePactor. Two outs. We're in the bottom of the fourth. North battling back. DePactor zero for two in the ball game. Wow. Could have a neck injury on in that swing. I noticed that too. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Oh, a line rip. drive just fair. The Pachter slides in the second with a double. Nice hustling double. You can't see it so good, Dave, but when I look down the line, the third base line, it goes on the infield over here, and then when you get to the outfield line, it's in about two or three inches. Maybe you can see that. And his ball hit near the line. Just fair. Actually, if the line were was it supposed to be, it would be even more fair. So good double by Blake. Well, the, this pitcher is throwing it over the plate, and North is taking advantage of it. They're, they have some good swings here. Ed. He's not as quick as the last pitcher, so this they're kind of licking their chops. I want to hit against this guy. Yeah, right. Parman is up now. Eric is a one for one with an RBI. Walked his other time, and uh, boy, didn't look good on that swing. But no. uh, with that strikeout, the inning ends, but not before North comes up with uh, five runs. It's now 10 to 9 Southwest. Who would have thunk it?
Leading off for Southwest, designated hitter number 11, Nicholas Posh. Leading off the uh, fifth inning for uh, Green Bay is Nicholas Posh. Posh, the number nine hitter in the order. He's uh, the designated hitter. Batting for Caleb Spruthels. Spruthels. Murphy trying to take it on the short hop and uh, couldn't quite come up with it. And, uh, the Norris shortstop, that was Hunt. Couldn't quite make the play. Well, what do we call that, Dave? Well, it was right Love at him. Number 15, Jace Prosky. Here we go with an E6. <coughs> it was a tough play. Yeah, it was a tough play. But it was right play. at him. So it... Jace Prosky is up for uh, Southwest. He's one for two. The shortstop would probably say I should have made that play. So. Uh, I would agree. Pitch looked up in the strike zone, but the umpire liked it, and that's all that counts. It's no balls and two strikes. Because Nasik's still on the mound for the Raiders. North got a bear down here, can't give up any. No, no, they battled back. Gotta hold them down. Getting a little later in the game, top of the fifth. Nice oh, pitch. strike three. Third baseman number seven, Caleb Langenberg. Fifth strikeout for uh, Kuznacek. He's really settled down. You know, he was struggling so much earlier. He's uh, around the plate now. Whoops. <laughs> nice going, Dave. <laughs> Caleb Langenberg is up. We would do that. Chris and I would do that in basketball. You know, a team hadn't missed a free throw all night, and it's the other team. Oh, had him picked off, but made a terrible throw. That's uh, one of the reasons I don't like that. <laughs> but anyway, so the other team hasn't missed a free throw all night, and we'll make mention of that. And as soon as you do that, then, of course, oh, the yeah. team misses. The jinx is on. Exactly. I was looking at the first base. I didn't like the way he was holding on the runner. He he wasn't straddling the bag. He was in front of the bag. It was a foul ball. Fastball is uh, fouled off. Makes a count one and one with one out. On that uh, wild throw, Nicholas Posh was able to move down to second. Zanasik takes the sign. Breaking Paul is uh, in there for strike two. Heard a lot of groans from the stands. <laughs> like that call. If you're a North fan, you loved it. That ball is on the outside corner for another called strike three. Two outs in the inning. Second Southwest is uh, not aggressive with the swings here. They're just taking a lot of pitches. Now that the pitcher is throwing it over the plate. Yeah, they're pretty tentative. You're right. And that was the number two hitter in their order. There's a There's ball a hit out solidly to center field. And reaching up and making that catch was Rabarczyk. Oh, my. Yeah, I think he turned the wrong way, and then he had to recover. But after the top of the fifth, no scoring by Southwest. As we enter the bottom of the fifth, it'll be North down by one, 10 to nine. A lot of game to play. Yeah.
the recording. Oh, there we are. Now we're back on the air. Count is two and one. One out here in the fifth inning. Close game now as ten to nine. Little swing and a number word back right to me. Two and two. That fills up the count, full count. Marty's back. He took a lap around the outfield. I'm ready to go now, and I haven't even run out of breath. There's a swing and a miss, so we have two outs here in the fifth. Takes us to the top of the order, Dave. Luke Kaznasik. Pitcher number 24, Luke Kaznasik. Luke looks like an athlete. Well, like we mentioned about his good speed, and he does play basketball. He's uh, very serious when it comes to baseball. That's his number one sport. And he rips wow. it up the middle, but shortstop playing him in the middle and throws him out. Too bad. Nice stroke there. Yeah, good play on both ends. Good hit, good fielding and throwing. But that takes us to the end of the fifth and through five complete. Southwest still on top, but it's 10 to nine. He really did spank that ball. The umpires are doing a fine job. Wow, I didn't think they'd be able to do it. Wow. And he's and he's and he's talented. Plate umpire wanted some water, and then oh, that is his wife. Or Might be his son. Know, but, but anyway, they had a bottle of water and just couldn't fit through the chain link fence until they made it fit through. <laughs> that was impressive. Ethan Richardson is going to lead off the uh, top of the sixth. We got Kaznazik out here again. He's throwing a ton of pitches. He won't be pitching game two. No. What is the limit on how many pitches they can throw? A hundred. Then you got to remove them. A hundred. Yeah. So let's say this was uh, he had nine. Let's say he had ninety-seven pitches, and this batter came up. He could finish him. That might carry him over a hundred, but then he would have to leave. A hundred pitch. Who would leave their pitcher in for a hundred pitches? <laughs> this is high school baseball. Must I think her dumbest. name was Andy Pigeon. Was a softball pitcher for South years ago. She pitched every inning of every game. No, no she didn't because my daughter was the other pitcher. Okay. <laughs> who hardly pitched at all. Well, there goes that story. <laughs> Except for uh, when they had the tournament, my daughter pitched and she threw a one hitter or a two hitter. And that was the last time she got to pitch. <laughs> She's pit that was the problem. She pitched too good. <laughs> Andy was a good pitcher. She went up to Green Bay and pitched. Richardson uh, works a walk, and Catching that brings up Jacob Richardson. Jacob Richardson. Jake hit a home run his last time up. He's uh, two for three in the ball game. So anyway, uh, the times that I pitch counted for North, it wasn't unusual for the pitcher to, you know, at least get close. I mean, a lot depended on if he was effective or not. I think they're changing pitchers here. Keep Lucas ready for game two. They're either changing pitchers or the center fielder quit. 
Like Rabarczyk uh, comes in from center field. He's getting a different glove. Well, he's got a pitching glove and a hitting glove. Coming out is uh, Armani Pena to uh, pitch. Well, overall, Lucas had a good outing coming in in, in relief. Yeah, just a couple of shaky innings, and then he settled down real nice. What hurt is he came in in a tough situation in that second, and uh, like you mentioned, you know, he wasn't quite ready to go. This guy can uh, throw the ball. Well, the best part about him is he's a left-hander. Oh, yeah, that's... Maybe makes he, a difference. Maybe he can neutralize the left-handed hitting Richardson. Up, oh, Rabarczyk is coming in to pitch. Pena must be going to the outfield. This guy looks good. Nice fluid motion. It's got some heat on the ball. A little breaking ball. He looks like a pitcher. He's, uh, he's got all the the right angles and. The yeah, he does look good out there. He's got good motion. Throwing so hard, the catcher can't catch him. So, so for Kiznasik, he went four innings, gave up five hits, three runs, did have six strikeouts, uh, gave up the home run. That's the only run he's given up. He's, he is responsible for the runner at first base. Okay, no, North needs to uh, settle down here. They can't give up any runs. Running out of time. Yeah, exactly. So we got Ethan Richardson on at first. Jacob Richardson uh, at the bat. And the first pitch by uh, Rabarczyk was uh, high for a ball. Richardson. Oh, half swing. Had him full there. You bet. That you know, was a nice pitch. Down and away. Looked like Hunt stays at shortstop. Pena is playing first. Kuznasik's at second. And I think Dudek is uh, out in center field. It's the first baseman, 22. Yeah, that's uh, Pena. He just came in. One ball, two strikes. Brett comes set and delivers. Good pitch. Oh, ball hit uh, off the uh, runner. Ouch, that's got to hurt. Wonder if he gets a sticker for that. In at first base for the Raiders, number 22, <laughs> Armani Pena. No betting for Southwest. Well, that was a strikeout. Henry Klatt. Henry so. Klatt is up uh, batting. <laughs> well, there's a chopper. Tough play. Oh, good play by the third baseman, Lorgi. Faked the throw to first and tagged the runner coming in. Actually, that was uh, Blake DePochter making that play. He moved over to third base. Actually, that was poor base running. No kidding. Colton Dudek is up. DePochter over at third. 
Not sure where Lorgi went. Running for Southwest, the pitcher number eight, Colton. Southwest could have had a runner on one and two with one out. Now they have a runner on first with two outs. That was a nice swing. Dudek uh, is two for three in the ball game with a couple of RBIs. Lefty against lefty. Yeah, let's see how he does. Breaking ball, a little bit of a sweeper. Caught him looking, and that's the end of the top of the sixth inning. After five and a half, two rivers, uh, two rivers. Green Bay Southwest 10, Sheboygan 9. You're right, he does look like a pitcher. He's got his little swagger to him, too. <clears throat> Made that last batter look kind of silly. Dudek heading out to the mound to uh, pitch the bottom of the sixth. Got some totals on Henry Klott. He went the first three and a third innings, gave up seven hits, five walks, four strikeouts. Gave up seven runs, six of those were earned. So not a good job, not a good outing by Henry. But uh, you know, at times he looked very effective. He went through hard. I don't know, Southwestern. They seem to have no energy here. They have no. The first couple of innings when they had all those runs, they were yelling and screaming, and uh, now they're not yelling or screaming. They're the hardest kinda, they yelled was after the home run, and they were all in the dugout. Leading off for North. They need to get six outs for this win. North needs to get a couple runs to take the lead. Be nice to get the lead in this inning and then uh, get them one, two, three in the seventh and the game's over, Mouse. Yeah, with that new pitcher, I get ball one. Andrew Lorgi is uh, up to bat. Andrew two for three, a couple of RBIs and a double. Ball Straight up. Hit up in the air on the infield. Shortstop uh, calls off the third baseman and makes the catch. There's another thing, Number Dave. One, I know back when we played, what, what did the coach always tell you? Catch the ball with two hands, you know, or two hands for beginners. And uh, almost all, I mean, all levels of baseball seem to be catching it one-handed. Well, what? I mean, let me. Get Go the ahead. batter here. Brett Rabarczyk is uh, up. He's three for three. Looking to uh, help his own cause. But when we were coaching at South, the first couple nights of practice, the first, uh, first sessions of throwing the ball, no gloves. Oh. No gloves for the first five, ten minutes. So they had to catch with two hands. No glove catching. I don't know if the players like that, but... Uh, Who cares? <laughs> Learn your fundamentals, right? It becomes automatic to put two hands together. For Barczyk, at, uh at a 2-2 two -two count now. After you catch 50, 60, 70 balls with no glove, you learn how to catch with two hands. Another pitch in the dirt by Dudek. Full count. There's one out in the top of the sixth. North is down a run. They've uh, battled back nicely to uh, go from a 10-2 deficit to make it 10-9. And he walks him. Helper. That brings up Mark Williams. 
Or triple his last time up. Boy, good showed good speed too. Williams. Not a big guy, but he hit the ball a long way. Barczyk going to be running. Yeah, let's see what Steve goes, the coach, has in mind here. A little different, though, with the left-hander on the mound versus the right-handed Henry Klott, who started the game. A good rip by uh, Williams, but he followed it straight back. I think when the... Uh, when we were coaching, we had the players on the bench look for signs. If they found it, if they caught the sign, they gave them a candy bar. <laughs> we didn't give out a lot of candy bars. <laughs> I was trying to think of a line, but I didn't want to be cruel either. It's hard. I mean, it's hard for kids to pick up on stuff like well, that. Well, you, you want to keep the kids on the bench in the game, and that was one way. We had other kids watch the bases. When the other team was running the bases, if they missed the base. Yeah, let your teammates know. One guy had was in charge of third base, one guy was in charge of second, and one guy was in charge of first. And, and if we had a question, we said, Pete, did he hit the base? There goes the runner. Oh, that ball is hit high and deep and way foul. Rebar Brett Rabarczyk will have to go back. I think he had that base stolen, too. Good jump. Good one here, eh? Count is uh, one ball and two strikes on the hitter. I think Coach Goes is having guys run on the catcher because he's not too confident in this catcher. There goes another throw to first. Now, I think, Dave, and you may not agree, but I think in situations like this, it's a good thing to throw over to first base. Try to keep them close. There he goes. And another foul. Brett Rabarczyk getting his road work in. <laughs> yeah, he's got to learn the, the move of the pitchers if he's got one, so. Now, here comes the slide step into the pitching. Yeah, where, right. Uh, that. Some pitchers have a high leg kick, and then often they'll change to that slide step. Quickens them up to the plate. There goes the runner. There goes a slow throw, and he's in there. Good stolen base by Brett Rabarczyk. Speaking about trying to hold runners mm -hmm. close and uh, throwing over, what I would try to do is uh, actually commit a balk. Get my foot as close to going to home plate and then throw to first you know, and deceive the runner in that way, and then you kind of force the umpire to uh, make a play. Another ball hit out to left field, but this time it's fair and it's caught. And uh, two outs now in the bottom of the six, and that leaves it up to Tristan Hunt. But a good, a good swing, he just got under it a little bit. He had a bunch of good swings at that bat. Good job of hitting by Williams, just couldn't uh, Get those line drives to be fair. Hunt is uh, 0 for 1 with a sacrifice fly and a hit by pitch. So he looks like a hitter too up at the plate. He's got a nice dance and quiet bat. Unlike Joey Weimer. He could pump oil out of an oil well, Joey Reamer. There's a <laughs> hard ball to second base, making a nice pickup and the throw to first in time. And that ends the <clears> top <throat> of the sixth for North High. As we enter the seventh, they trail it 10 to nine. There we go, yeah. the sound. Yeah. That means we can talk.
picture looks nice. He's got a little slur pitch or something that kind of moves. I think like that's what he got that last uh, batter in the last half inning on that little slurvy kind of a breaking pitch. Doesn't break big, but it breaks. And it breaks quick. <clears throat> Turn to this time. For Southwest, number 20, Nolan Kitchenmaster. Nolan Kitchenmaster is going to lead off the uh, top of the seventh for uh, Green Bay. They lead it 10 to 9. North trying to come back. Nice pitch. Strike one. It's warming up a little bit. I think it's up to about 50. I don't think the cameramen want to stay and do game two. <laughs> nice pitch again, two strikes. Rabarczyk, three strikes, and you're out. One, two, three. The game would be over if all the pitchers would be pitching no, like no, that. No, yeah, no kidding. Gosh. The pace of the game definitely has picked up the second uh, last four or five yeah, innings. Yeah. Pitching has been much more better, <laughs> much more effective. Nicholas Posh well, is up. It's been better, too. We want more better. <laughs> Whoop, there's a rip. Base hit out to right field. And for uh, Nick, is his first hit of the ball game. He was a little tardy on that swing, but he put the meat of the bat right on the ball. It was a good rip to the right field. Jace Takes us to the top of the order with Jace Prosky. Jace, one for three. Posh, a bouncing uh -oh. ball in the hole and through past the second baseman. But uh, Posh, the runner on first, able to advance only one base, so that helps. Yeah, the right, right, <clears throat> right fielder had a nice jump on the ball. Number seven, Caleb Langenberg. Caleb Langenberg is up next. No, that's one thing, Dave. I don't think uh, the players always understand the importance of one base. You know, if you can save a base, that can make a big difference. One more, let's go. That's stranger bunting the leadoff hitter. Nine, well, it's a number two Preston hitter. Oh, Murphy. two hitter. Yeah. And it, but it, they're <clears throat> bunting with one out. You know, now there's two outs. Puts pressure on uh, Braxton Murphy. Two hitters usually your best bunter or one of your best bunters. Breaking pitches in for a strike. Southwest hoping for a hit to run, bring in two runs. Yeah, that would be huge. And Murphy is uh, one of the better hitters on the uh, Trojan team. Ball is uh, popped up out of play. Hard to see those. Yeah, not near our table. That's a good thing. Just like Gene Mand, anything near us, you got it, Dave. Are you? <laughs> That's what yep. Gene would do. You take it, Dave. <laughs> Hall of Famer and had four assists in his career. <laughs> <laughs> you know, this is on tape. It'll be forever. We'll get this to, to uh, Gino. We'll yeah. see what he has to say about that. Uh-oh. Let Slow it go. Roller. Oh, they did the right thing. It had not spin, and it rolled foul, and... Uh, Saved North a run for now, anyway. There's been several of those balls bounced right into that turf, and they take real high bounces, makes it hard on the third baseman. And you can't play up too much either, because no. all of a sudden he hits a screamer at you. Count is one ball and two strikes. Brett Rabarczyk on the mound for North. He's uh, been very, very good. Recorded... Uh, Three strikeouts in his uh, inning and two thirds. Ball up the middle. Good stop by Kuznasik. 
and right, makes the go, throw go. in time. Looked just like Dave right. Gare on that play. He was pushed way over towards first two. I don't know if they have a scouting report or nice play ends the inning. Big inning for uh, North here, bottom of the seventh. Need yep. one for sure. Need one for sure. One to tie, two to win. We'll be right back. I like the way you threw that ball in the dirt, too. Did you bounce the catcher or first baseman enough time? Um, when was the last time Southwest scored in second inning? Is that or the third? Oh, they got the home run in the fourth, I think. Yeah. One in the first, eight in the second. Had any rallies going? No, really. Tense. Is it tense? Say that. Is it tense for you? Yeah. So you played at Southwest? Who's your son? not always over the plate. <laughs> Marty used to pitch. He used to hit a couple people before he That was on purpose, Dave. <laughs> <laughs> so you okay, played for we're Green back Day in the West? bottom of the ninth. Okay. We have a new pitcher for, for Southwest. Number nine, Braxton Murphy will try to shut out the bad, oh, excuse me, the Golden Raiders here in the ninth. Okay. Blake DePocter up. Blake uh, doubled his last time. Need a rally. We're down one. New pitcher, Brandon Braxton Murphy for Southwest. Murphy, a uh, good pitcher. He was uh, two balls. He has trouble with his control also. He, uh, I know I've got it here. He's, I think he's almost, he doesn't have a walk in any, but uh, he's got more walks than strikeouts. In uh, 31 innings, he's got 25 walks and 24 strikeouts. Even Steven. Nice. Three balls and one strike. Big hitter here, the leadoff hitter. <coughs> the Bachter, uh through the course of the game, has moved from first over to the third base. <laughs> pitch right on the knees. Close pitch. Probably a good take by uh, Blake. Make him swing, make him swing. Nice. Pitch down, ball four. Murphy, the leadoff hitter, is on for North. It's a tying run. Let's see what uh, Coach Goas wants to do here. You know, I would think he might run him because he's yeah, been he's running good, a lot good speed. all day. Another pitch low. We're in the bottom half of the order, Dave. Uh, the six, this is number seven, seventh batter in the order, Eric Parman. He's a one for two. Murphy's keeping him close. He must realize the importance of that runner. Yeah, exactly. Uh, Dudek has uh, moved from pitching over to uh, first base, back where he started the ball game, and uh, Henry Klott, who started at pitcher is now at shortstop. He's uh, moved all over during the course of this mm -hmm. game. Pitch is uh, back pitch. to the screen. It's going to allow the tying run Blake DePocter to advance to second. Now if the uh, batter can advance the runner to third by hitting it to the right side of the infield. <clears throat> Makes it a little easier to Orp. score that run. Or bunt. Nice. 
There was a nice pitch to hit it to the right side of the infield. Makes a count, two balls and one strike. Parman, uh, the right fielder today. There's it's a, a perfect, high hopper. Perfect pitch. Perfect hit. Runner got the third. runner over. That's a big. You're right, Dave. <clears throat> well, he did his job. Gavin Casey is up. Casey's walked twice and popped the second. Steve. Number 14, Gavin probably Casey. telling him, get a good pitch. Get something you can handle and. Infield is up for Southwest. As they should be. Yeah, cut that run off. Except Casey the first takes baseman. First, first baseman's way behind the bag. <laughs> <laughs> no, he right. got the memo right now. <laughs> Moves up. Time out by uh, Green Bay Southwest. Gavin Casey is up. The North Eye catcher. Let's go, Rex. Need the Pachter to be aware at uh, third base, too, because uh, there's been some pitches that have gotten back here by us. Might be able to score on a bad pitch. Bunting. That'll get the run home. Suicide squeeze. Nice idea. <clears throat> Perfectly executed. Now we got a new ball game. What was nice about that bunt, Dave, is he got it past the pitcher. So he had no chance at the runner. Number 22, Armani. Now we got a new ball game, 10 to 10. Armani Pena up. Armani, a big kid. Hopefully he can. Uh, he's not bashful up there, is he? <laughs> no, that was a nice cut. Catch a hold of one and uh, win the ball game. Last one here, last one. Oh, and, oh and two. Cesar Armani is first at bat. He came in earlier in the ball game. He's hanging in there. <clears throat> He's a big guy. Yeah. I would imagine he was a football player. I hope anyway. <laughs> uh, you know, I, I, I attended a couple of ball games this year and I don't remember. And hanging in there. I think was that the third or fourth pitch to him? He swung four, at every one. one yeah. Not pitcher getting should, cheated, that's for sure. Pitcher should throw one out of the strike zone. He'll chase it that one too. That was out of the strike zone, and at strike three, and that uh, after seven innings of play, it's uh, all tied up now at ten. Wonder if he's going to keep uh, Rabarchek in there. He's got, he's yeah. got to, yeah. Yeah, he's still in there, good. <clears throat> Who would have thunk we'd be in extra innings when the score was nine to two? Yeah, exactly. We were looking at uh, maybe only playing five. <laughs> now we might play five more. <clears throat> So how many hits do each team have? Six, seven, eight, nine for Green Bay. Eight, eight for Sheboygan. This catcher throws like this. Yeah, he doesn't have the classic from the ear no. throwing at him. Too much of a windup. Number six, Ethan Richardson. Ethan Richardson is going to lead off the uh, eighth inning. Well, the Southwest pitch. dugout is yeah. waking up. I was just thinking, Dave. <laughs> you know, if you're playing a double header, you don't like the first game going extra innings. 
Another pitch, breaking ball for a strike. Oh, and two is the count. Ball was hit hard and into right field for a base hit. It's a good pitch and yeah. a good swing. Number 23, Jacob Richardson. That brings up Jacob Richardson. Jake had the uh, first home run of the season for Southwest back in the fourth inning. A big jump by uh, Ethan Richardson. Didn't even uh, draw a throw from Sheboygan Norris catcher. Easy stolen base. It was a fake bunt to get everybody running around. and Runner on second is the lead run. Brett Verbarczyk has uh, struck out quite a few batters. Oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> a good throw, it certainly would have been close. <laughs> but a bad throw, that runner could be off the third base. Oh that pitch boy. gets by the catcher and rolls over to the side, and Ethan Richardson is going to easily advance on that wild pitch. Now the strikeouts loom large for North. They need to get a couple on uh, these Trojan hitters. Yeah, they're in trouble now. This is the meat, meat of the order for Southwest. Isn't this a four hitter? Yep. Uh, actually, uh, Jacob is the fifth hitter. Fifth hitter. And then Klott follows him. He's uh, hit the ball every time up. Henry waiting on deck. Barchek's breaking pitch breaks outside. That uh, makes the count three and two. Jacob. Although he hit that home run in the fourth, does have two strikeouts. He doesn't look too sure of himself about against his lefty. But he walks. Yeah, good eye by uh, that young man to draw the walk, and that brings up Henry Klott. Number three, Henry Klott. Nate uh, Tarkowski wearing out the grass, going in and out of the dugout, talking to, this pit, to his pitchers. Well, what do you do now if you're on offense other than just trying to get a base hit? Henry's dad is real happy here because uh, his son has an opportunity to give him the lead. Knock in a run. Uh, seriously, I would take that runner on first and I'd have him go on the first pitch. Get a big lead because I don't think North will throw down. And then, and then you take away the double play possibility. Not that they would go yeah, for that. They're in good shape here with no outs, so they get a lot of opportunities to do a squeeze or a hit behind the runner or a steal or double steal. I don't know how fast the runner is on third. Ethan Richardson, he's the right fielder, Dave, so I think he's probably got pretty good speed. I don't get it. I don't know what happened there. Well, they just picked off the runner who oh, has, did get was, was leaning. And it was hard to tell what the umpire was doing. So a 1-3 pickoff. So now there's one out, and they still have that runner on third. That was huge. I think they might have had a squeeze, a, a steal with a fake bunt or a squeeze, and the runner squared away, and infield is up. Yeah, Pena way in front of the bag, up on the green artificial turf. They're thinking squeeze. North is thinking squeeze. 
That ball is hit Southwest deep. Southwest is thinking about hitting it a double. Or There's a base hit, and that'll score the run. North going to be forced to uh, come back again. Henry Klott. Boy, his dad says that guy can really hit. <laughs> Colton Dudek is up next. Colton has struck out twice and has a couple of base hits. Henry's dad is real close to us, keeping us company. And son came through. Yeah, it's got to make dad awfully proud. He's even taking pictures now. Not a, not of us, but <laughs> that's a good thing. Well, North, you better settle down here. And get this guy again. Oh, we had mentioned uh, when Henry stepped into the box that uh, he had hit the ball every time up. So the chance of uh, striking him out was uh, not real good. The bar check uh, for North has uh, pitched an outstanding game. He's got a nice move to first base, too. Yeah. He's gone... Uh, Two and a third innings. It does have one, two, three, three strikeouts. Another base hit out the left. Well, he's pretty much around the plate, and Southwest is taking advantage of that. They're yeah. taking some nice hacks here. Other than uh, Ethan Richardson, who led off the inning with a hit, uh, Jacob Richardson, Henry Clot, Colton Dudek, down Nolan. Kitchen master, they've all faced Rabarczyk before. This is their second time through the order. Strike one. Check swing. Two runners on. Only one out. 11 to 10, southwest on top. Need a ground ball. Got uh, Klott on its second. Ooh. Oh. Dudek. Looked like a nice pitch. At first, McMaster, Kitchen Master up the bat. Two balls and one strike. Last one should have been a strike. Well, the catcher could have helped him out with a little bit of framing there. I don't know. Yeah, why. that's another thing you don't. Uh, Always hear too much about unless you're at the major league level. There's a skill, Dave, the framing part that if you play baseball a lot, you know, in the little, as you're growing up, you know, you get to play the same position all the time. You start to learn those things a little more. You know, if you're just kind of thrown into the fire. You know, even if you're caught for maybe two or three years, it takes more than that to uh, learn that kind of skill. Nicholas Posh up. Well, when, when I started uh, coaching my son at age eight, nine, 10, 11, we played it like scrub. I made every kid play every position. And that's probably how it should be in Little League, too. Every kid on my caught on my team would catch. They go, I don't want to catch, Mr. Gare. You will catch. You'll give it a try. If you don't like it, we can... You know. it, Swing and a miss <clears throat> by Posh. Makes the count one ball and two strikes. It came down to when other teams only had one catcher, and their catcher was on vacation two weeks. That team was in big trouble. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Ball is hammered foul. foul. Bases are loaded for the Trojans. Klott on at third, Dudek at second, Kitchen Master at first. I don't know, North infield, in back, the middle infielders are back, I don't know. It's, it's a little scary for me. Pitches up, makes the count two and two. Brett Rabarczyk needs a strikeout. Oh. 
pitch way out of the strike zone. Makes it three and two. Lost, lost his rhythm a little bit here. Yeah. Nicholas Posh, even though he's the number nine hitter, Dave, has hit the ball every time. This is, might be the pitch of the game right here. Brett comes set at the belt, and delivers. Slow roller on the infield. And Rabarczyk picked it up and threw it away. Two run score. And uh, give Posh a base hit. He advances to second on the air by the pitcher. And uh, all of a sudden, the Trojans have broken this open again, Chris, with a three run lead. Dave. Well, that was a poor decision. He's on his knees. He tried to throw the ball. Slow chopper. And he probably wishes he had that one, that one back. Prosky up. Leadoff hitter. Prosky struck out twice in the game. Good pitch there. He's got good stuff. Pitch comes in high. It's one ball and two strikes. Only one out in the inning. And uh, three runs in for uh, Southwest. They lead it 13 to 10. We're in the top of the eighth. Got him. Posh with a swing and a miss. Mm -hmm. Two outs. Number seven, Caleb. One more guy to get here for North. Yeah, Caleb Langenberg. Caleb is uh, susceptible to the strikeout. He's struck out twice. Oh, good block by the catcher. He can't find the ball. I think he felt that one. That's why you don't want to catch. <laughs> don't throw that pitch again. Barczyk still with good velocity. Uh, I don't know if he's on top of the ball anymore. Yeah, he's kind of lost his command. Another pitch for a ball. It's a three and zero. Oh. First base is open. Bring up Braxton Murphy, their number three hitter. That was a strike. <laughs> it was a ball. <laughs> it was called a strike. <laughs> Three and one. Catcher didn't help him at all. But, uh... yes, Pitch is high. And uh, Murphy is the number nine hitter in the inning. It was ninth hitter in the inning. He's the number three batter in the order. So uh, Southwest is batted around again in this ball game. Catchers out to talk to their pitcher to settle him down a little bit. Just throw your good stuff, get this guy, we're out of the inning, we get the bat. Yeah. Three runs down is hard enough. Jackson takes that first pitch up for a ball. Murphy is uh, 0 for 4 in the ball game, Chris, but he has scored a couple runs. Dave. <laughs> See how much easier it is when you keep that on that piece of paper wide open? You've got to put that on your forehead. That wouldn't do me any good. <laughs> I need to put it on yours. Uh, 
There's a good pitch. Trouble. Trouble. Oh, we got him. Nice play by the shortstop. I think that was, uh, might have been Kaznasik again. But uh, that ends the top of the eighth inning, but not before Green Bay Southwest scores three runs. When we come back for the bottom of the inning, it'll be in Southwest up by three runs, 10, 13 to 10. Leading off for North, number 24, Luke Kuznacek. Sheboygan North will have the top of the order as they start this eighth inning. Luke Kuznacek. Luke go for one with a couple of walks and a hit by pitch. Did some good work on the mound for uh, four innings. Ooh, nice pitch. Takes that pitch outside for a ball. Evens the count at one and one. Braxton Murphy still on the hill for uh, Southwest. Pitch on the inside corner. Called a strike. Breaking pitches outside for a ball. Evens account at two and two. Waiting on deck is uh, Andrew Lorgi. Pitch taken by uh, Dudek and he races back to the bag to make the play, get the unassisted put out. And that's Number the first out Andrew in the Lurgy. eighth inning. Andrew Lorge looking to start a rally for uh, North High. Oh, well, he gets to bat with the sun out as the sun is speaking through here. Yeah, it's pretty nice. The wind has died down too. Nice swing, foul ball. Now the wind seemed like it was for the most part during the game was coming out of the south, blowing south to north, uh, pushing those fly balls a little deeper. One and one on Mr. Lorgi. Which rides inside. North needs a rally. <laughs> Three runs. Those last two really hurt. The ball hit out into a short center field, actually moving over into right. And the oh, no. <laughs> there was a base yeah. running mistake that turned out. He was rewarded. <laughs> You know, actually on something like that, I'm, I'm looking at the umpires, Chris, and the first base umpire should be out in the right field 
making the call on the catch and the home plate umpire should be out near second base making the safer out call. Bad rotation. Well, there the second baseman didn't call the ball or the right fielder called it. I, we're not sure, but then he pulled up. Nobody caught it. There's another reason why you don't want to be a catcher. <laughs> Ouch. Jacob Richardson took that one off the uh, leg, I believe it was. He's a big guy, tough guy. He'll, he'll be all right. Brett Rabarczyk has had a great day at the bat. Three for, four, three, for three, actually, with a three-run homer and a double. The hard hit ball right to the second baseman. And that's out number two. Not looking good here, Dave. No, that was uh, right at him. Nine, Mark Williams. Nolan Kitchenmaster making that play. Mark Williams has a triple today. Ball down the line, it hit the runner. And that's the third oh. out. Well, they're trying to decide if he was in fall territory or fair territory. He should have been in fall territory. Yeah, he was definitely in fair territory. There's no question about that. And that ends the ball game. Green Bay Southwest winning this one 13 to 10 in eight innings. Mm -hmm. That makes their record uh, seven and 11, three and nine in conference. North drops to uh, one and nine and one and nine in conference. Dave, uh, your thoughts about today's ball game? Well, it was a game of for Green Bay a lot of mistakes early and then some good baseball at the end, but North just uh, Ran out of gas. Or he, yeah, north. Too bad. Disappointing for them after that nice comeback. That's going to do it for us today. Uh, like I mentioned earlier, our next broadcast will be thir Tuesday, May 7th, when we'll see this Green Bay Southwest squad again against Sheboygan South. And then on Thursday, our final broadcast of the school year will be Thursday, May 9th, when North Girls Softball Team visits South. So until Tuesday, thanks for watching, everybody, and we'll see you down the road.